Hey, so what's going on guys? Make sure we direct the reviews and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm back in the Sirocco. It's because we're going to be getting coilovers installed for this car. So yeah, it's pretty early in the morning and we got to get there fast to the workshop. It's because they are short of workers. But anyways, the coilovers I installed are the Gap HE series. I know they are not like the super high-end ones from 10 or, or KW or uh, Bill Stein, you know. But they definitely do the job well and I've actually used them before back then when I was uh, using my Saga FLX uh, many years back and they have actually performed pretty well they have been very durable of course it is a high and low setting only and no soft and hard so it's going to be a little more stiffer in terms of the right quality but yeah you're going to expect uh, a stiffer right anyways if you're using like coilovers but if you have the hard and soft adjustability, yes, you are able to fine tune it. But for me, I mean, a Sirocco is a sports car. I'm not expecting like extreme levels of comfort with this. I'm expecting more of like the handling side of things. So yeah, I decided to go with the Gap HE. And besides, uh, I think it's very, very worth it for the price because it only cost me around 1,400 ringgit for a set of coilovers. And the best part about it is that it has body shift. So body shift means that you can increase and lower the height without affecting the right quality, or the right comfort. Uh, that's what I had with my Saga as well. So it actually felt pretty good. It's not like super bumpy, super stiff. It was just the right uh, level of rebound. So yeah, suits me perfectly. So another point is that it is serviceable, so which means I do not have to buy uh, coilovers again. I know many of the thousand each ringgit coilovers they are not serviceable so that can be a problem when they go bad so yeah i went for one that is serviceable as well as has body shift which is like the bare minimum of what i'm looking for the requirements at least so right now we're actually heading over to vox auto garage because i trust them with my car because they are a volkswagen or conti car specialist they know in and out the owner drives a sirocco so yeah it's very easy for him to actually fine-tune the suspension all right so let's head over to vox auto garage and i will catch you guys there okay guys so we have vox auto garage we're gonna fix the all of us let me show you guys okay so you can see right here these are the jet he series let me do an unboxing for you guys you can see these are the springs for the rear they're all wrapped in this plastic and we have the struts as well right here Meanwhile, they're prepping the car to be on jacks. And then we have this on the other side. And some stickers. And we have this. The fun one. Pretty good stuff. So both of them are actually the same. So we have uh, one pair for the front and the rear. They are actually separate springs and struts. So basically that's why it is. Okay, so now let's move on to the install and I'll give you a closer look at how they are installing it from the car. So we're getting the original absorbers off. You can see right here. So we're doing the front ones first and then we'll move on to the back ones. So this coilover uses back the original top mount. So I've uh, actually replaced the bearing as well. So I bet I have to do that for the other side. You can see right here, it looks complete. So now we're going to be installing it back and we'll complete the other side and then we will move on to the rear. Okay, as you can see it's installed now we're installing the absorber link you can see at the back and then we'll be done with the front okay guys so we're installing the rear coilovers so it's going to be removing the original and then going with these ones here
couple of days since I actually did the callovers and I wanted the callovers to actually settle down. So while it was settling down, I realized I needed to upgrade my rear anti-roll bar, which is what I did. So I'll be showing you guys a picture right now. So I upgraded to the ultra racing uh, anti-roll bar for the rear only. Uh, however, I did want to do the strut bar, but for some reason they sent me the wrong strut bar and it just wouldn't fit because of the throttle body. It was like touching the throttle body and leaving a gap from the screw like around like two inches so there was no way we could modify it to fit so I believe there's another version of the bar but I'm kind of skeptical so that will be maybe for a future video but currently I just upgraded the rear anti-roll bar to a thicker rear anti-roll bar which makes honestly a lot of difference so coming back to how I feel about the coilovers the spring rate is 8k in the front and 6k in the rear so if you ask me can it be driven at uh, this spring rate Yes, it can be, it can be. Of course, you're going to be sacrificing uh, the comfort. Definitely comfort is going to be like a kind of a big sacrifice, but for me, I do not really mind because this car sits, most of the time, sits me or uh, one passenger. But if you sit more than uh, two passengers, like a full load, you're definitely going to see uh, the spring rate suffer a bit in terms of comfort. But overall, currently, uh, the couple of days which I've been using it, uh, yeah, it's actually settled down really well and honestly uh, in terms of uh, how low it went I actually did uh, two fingers in the front and two and a half fingers in the rear yes it does scrap bumps some bumps in my area because the bumps are not really up to spec so some of the bumps are a little bit sharper some are a little bit higher so yeah some of the bumps I do have to like maneuver the car a little bit but overall I think uh, for me comfort wise I think it's about the same as the one I use with my Saga the Zero One I'm not sure what model that was but yeah the Zero Ones on my Saga actually had almost the same comfort level uh, but this car has already really good handling but after installing the coilovers the handling just like you can hear the scrapping sound uh, but anyways after I installed the coilovers it was a massive improvement at the corners and I feel really confident of course I did change my tires to PS4s as well so that also added to the grip level but overall in terms of comfort I believe this is really value for money 1004 now they increase it to 1006 so it's slightly more expensive than before but uh, it's still much cheaper than many of the coilovers in the market so definitely I can recommend it installation was around 300 to 250 ringgit including like the setting for the springs and all of course I can go back and uh, keep on tuning the springs to my satisfaction but as is for now with the current setup two fingers in the front and uh, two and a half fingers in the rear I think that's perfect especially because I only carry two people in the car me and another passenger most of the time so yeah for me I think this uh, gap callovers the gap HEs are a major win of course if you're looking for something with more comfort definitely you can go for the Bilstein and H&R combo uh, that's not adjustable though otherwise you can go for more expensive options like uh, 10 and uh, some other higher brands KW and stuff like that but for me uh, on a budget I believe these are really good uh, value for money callovers and uh, yeah that's all I got to say for these callovers. So that's all for this video guys. If you did like it, do give it a thumbs up and you know, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.